What's going on guys, Garrett here from the Jobless Gamers channel and today we're doing Squadcast episode 36 with Mr. Boss of the Wind Hello The Saints fan What up And our special guest, Quantum Glad to be here Now this Squadcast is a weekly podcast that we do every single Saturday covering GTA 5 and GTA Online news and today's topic is gonna be everything that came out with the most recent update to GTA 5 which is now PS4 and Xbox One versions. Now before we do jump into all this lovely information we do have a sponsor for today's Squadcast and Ross do you want to explain to the users who Cladwell.com is and why they are a sponsor for today's episode? Yeah absolutely so they approached us and they felt that we had a good audience to talk about this so basically Cladwell is a totally free website that gives you a personal roadmap to dressing better. Now we're all gamers so that means you know sometimes we don't have the best fashion sense you know a lot of times we want to just roll with you know the gym shorts and t-shirt but a lot of times you need to you know dress better and that's where cloud will gotta look good yeah 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 you gotta look good because there's occasions where you gotta go out you gotta look good you gotta put gta 5 down sometimes you know you can't do it 24 7 there's gotta be times where you gotta go out so basically cladwell is a combination of art and science and they have fashion experts combined with smart fashion algorithms that allow you to dress for success and also save money in the process Yep. Yeah, and I know me and Garrett have been, we're, we're, I don't know, we're not going to lie, you know, our outfits, our fashion sense is not the best, but this website has definitely helped us a lot in getting the, you know, getting to look better, so yeah, it's, it's great. It's a pretty cool website, you can actually go on there and you can choose what kind of styles you like, maybe if you like the more relaxed styles, you can choose that, if you more, you want to dress to impress, you can choose that, if you, there's a whole bunch of options, it's very easy to use, I'm personally going to be using it, especially when we're going up to uh, recent trips and events, especially because Christmas is coming around the corner, I'm going back home, I want to look good for my family, and Cladwell.com will definitely help me Plus do that. Plus it's warm in Miami. Yeah, you know, you it's warm in Miami. Warm <laughs> exactly, and it's cold over here in Washington. But with all that said, make sure you guys do check out Cladwell.com, there's a link down in the description at the top of our video, and let's jump right into the information about GTA 5 on Next Gen. And Ross, you want to go ahead and take it and talk about the new things about GTA 5 on the PS4 and Xbox One that we enjoy and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess I'll start with the returning stuff because I know a lot of you guys, if you're watching us, you're most likely returning from a 360 or a PS3, which means you got a lot of exclusive content that's just for you. So that's special stuff. Um, I know a few things in particular, the Dodo Seaplane and the Duke of Death, some of the two coolest vehicles in the game. Like I don't know about you guys, but the Duke of Death, is nuts. That's one of the yeah. funnest vehicles I've ever driven. The Dukes driven. is my favorite car now. Yeah, by the far. Dukes in general, which is available to everyone, and that's something we can talk about as well. Those three new vehicles. Yeah, but even first person, the Duke of Death, like with the the bulletproof windows and stuff, like it's so much fun. Even though it's so hard to see because like you have like a little slit to look through, but just something about it is just I don't know. It's really awesome. Although I was kind of disappointed it wasn't an online. What do you guys think about about some of the, Would it the, be the exclusive stuff? Online? Yeah, I mean. If they took off the uh, like the bulletproof windows or like made them not really bulletproof, like they just looked bulletproof, I think it would be good. I don't know. I mean, they could balance it for sure. At least as think. a Pegasus vehicle, I'd yeah. be fine. I mean, that would kind of suck, but I mean, but it has a ton of customization nothing. option in campaign. That's the yeah, only that's like true. downside. Yeah. So I, I would hate this, for it to be like so great in campaign and, just and then make suck them it online. Yeah, I was hoping that it would be like an yeah. upgraded version of the Dukes, like you know, like you could put like the separate, yeah, exactly, uh, you know, bulletproof windows or just the, like the bars. Not even. Could you imagine how bulletproof. expensive that would be in multiplayer? Dude. Jesus, a neon like, light is like ten grand. <laughs> putting, like, ten grand? Mine was like yeah, twenty grand, man. Grand <laughs> All about them shark cards. Oh man! But jeez, God, I can't imagine how much money, money over yeah. there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But I know that you know the GTA Five in general. We did get it early. Um, we got it about seven days earlier than everybody else because we we had to find. Long no, we didn't. Get, short. We got it a couple of days. We didn't get it seven days. Oh, yeah, we sorry. We, we've had it. So we early. we've had it for seven days. Sorry. Yeah. And we we had it three days early just about. And we went. We and we searched everywhere for an early copy. We were to find one. And when we got it, I mean, the first impressions. I want to hear what you guys first thought once you jumped into the game. So awesome when you first picked up your controller, loaded in your CD or your disc. What did you feel from the GTA? Like, what was the difference? Yeah, well, I mean, right off the bat, you knew it was a new experience. Like, I, I told this in a couple of my commentaries or videos over the past couple of days, but I literally, for the first like hour and a half, just walked around, like in first person. I went from the city. And then I, I took a car up to the north into like Mount Chile, but then I got out, was walking around, just seeing all the new, the lighting, the shadows, you know, some of the new animals. Man, it like, it's it's 
it's great. It's great. It truly really is. What about you, Ross? How do you feel like when you first picked the controller and started playing GTA 5 on PS4? I, well, I, I do what I typically do when I play GTA. I drive around for two hours and just, like, explore. Well, yeah, because, that's... Ro yeah, Rockstar gave us a lot of information, but I was mainly just, like, it was a nostalgia factor because it's, like, you, a lot of the content we do is Grand Theft Auto Online, and it's, like, whoa, it's, like, this is single player again. This is a crazy world that I've kind of forgotten about, so. Yeah, that was one of the things... That, I mean, because we, we pretty much all play the story, you know, obviously some of us know or remember the story better than others, but uh, we've all played it, and I don't think the story was, was such a big draw to it, was, but like the exploring part, seeing the, the Duke's random event or the seaplane random event, like these new random things that they added, and even, you know, we're still finding stuff to this day. They have the peyote plants that turn you into animals, like that's crazy. They have the mine shaft that we can now explore. Like, who who knows what else they're hiding? Yeah, I'm really happy everything's going so well with the next gen. What about you, uh, you uh, Quantum? How do you feel about when you pick up the controller for the first time? Well, I didn't get it early like you guys, but the entire weekend I had these guys just in awe of how amazing it was, just playing it nonstop. They wouldn't play anything else with me except just play that on their own in single player. But when I finally picked it up and I went online, like, you instantly know that it's completely revamped. Everything looks amazing. Just... I obsessed over puddles for probably 10 minutes. And <laughs> Same like, here, man. I'm not embarrassed to say it. I mean, it's unbelievable how amazing it looks. And the first person just adds to that. You just feel so immersed. Now, there's been a lot of, I guess, controversy or love and hate in the community in regards to the online scene for Xbox One and PS4. And a lot of people are saying that there's not enough. Do you guys feel that's a true statement? Yeah. Well, I think what happened, and I'm hoping maybe in DLCs it'll get better, but... They definitely focus more on single player, like as a revamp. Obviously, the first person came to online. That's cool. There was you know a couple of new features like the contacts and uh, the I guess the the whole new character creation system. But besides that, there wasn't there wasn't much. Like the the upgrades from GTA last gen online to this gen wasn't they that did, big. There's, there's 30 players now, but we haven't really got to experience that because the <laughs> servers, servers don't been, work. Yeah, but apparently but they're gonna fix that. So 30 I'm, players. Oh, I can't I'm, get into two player lobby. <laughs> that's true, but I want to see what that's like because I'm already 16 players is insane, out of control with d almost double that. Like it's gonna be. I d I can't even think. When is the next? When do they announce the patch is coming out? They said it's coming out Saturday. The patch should come out the day they're when watching, you're watching this. this. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Probably be able to so play today. on the servers and. Everything should be good to go. So, I mean, for, for sure. those of you that are like, oh, my God, this patch is heist. It's not heist. They're just fixing stuff on the servers. They are um, going yeah. to announce the heist update. Yeah. They're not just going to be like Dude, springing I, it I, to a random I don't know, man. You never know what the rocks are. They, I think uh, they it's could too just... big to unannounce. Yeah, they have to announce it. I think they're cool. literally going to announce it a month before or like two weeks before. Like, they're going to they're gonna create more hype because a lot of people have lost that hype factor for heist, you know? People have been really misled with the whole high strain in terms of like, oh, it's coming in spring. Oh, it's coming next week. Oh, it's coming month next month. And a lot of people just lost hope. And I think Rockstar is going to do everything in their power to create that hype again within their own newswire and with the community. And I think it's really going to have a huge success once it does drop. Yeah, well, I think the first person that's definitely a, like a huge drawing point to heist, like first person heist, it's going to be some like somebody mentioned this. I didn't even think about it. Like, Payday is going to be useless. Like, who's going to want to play Payday when you can do what you can do in Payday, but in GTA, you know? So, I, I, I hope it's better than, than Payday, because I played a lot of Payday back in the day, and I really, really love that game. But, I don't know, I can't imagine uh, GTA 5 being up it's to so that confined. level. It's so confined. Like, there's no, oh, well, obviously, there's no driving in Payday. And so now that there's driving in this, and it's the entire city, I would hope. It's not just going to be like one little room. Like maybe you rob the bank and then you have to go somewhere. or Maybe you have to plan it. Hopefully you have to plan it and get supplies, but you never know. I but, think it'll be, I I think it'll it'll be, be kind of like I single player. Similar to the campaign. Yeah. No, like you got to like... go and get certain vehicles if you're doing it the stealthy way or if you're doing it the guns blazing, you got to go get guns. So it's then probably going to be, be like amazing. that. I would love that then. Yeah. What I would hate is if it was just like loading up a regular mission, like Mark Madrazo says, "Hey, I've oh. got a heist." Like, see, okay. oh, <laughs> yeah, they, I, I think we can all, I think we can assume it's safe to say that that's not going to be the case because yeah. right, they've taken so long to get it out that it's it's going to be 
pretty good. I hope. Hopefully. Rock yeah, hopefully. That's that's the thing. Well, the one thing, Rockstar, with big DLCs, their, their uh, track record is, is really good. Like, I don't yeah, think I've ever true. seen a bad big DLC from Rockstar. Or a, ba so. a bad anything from Rockstar. I mean, Rockstar always produces quality, and that's what they're known for. I mean, they have, they have the highest Metacritics ratings in the industry when it comes to games, and Rockstar doesn't normally let us down, so... Yeah, um, PS, uh, the PS4 version of GTA V was the highest rated game on there so far. Yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot to beat it as well. So I look forward to everything Rockstar does produce, and it, at times it may, it may seem like, oh, yeah, we're just, like, you know, saying things that... You know, just to look good in front of Rockstar or something like that. But this is how we honestly feel, guys. I mean, for all of us, I think we're very opinionated. And some squad cast will say we hate something about the game. And some squad cast will say we love things about the game. And oh, well. definitely, this is how it is. I mean, we love the way things are, I guess, changing for GTA Five. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 we, we've, got, we've come a long way this past year or 14 oh, for months. Sure. But, but you bring up a point, like, just to get it out of the way... You know, yeah, we're saying the game's great. Dude, it definitely has its issues. There's, oh, for sure. Oh, for I mean, sure, yes. right off the bat, you think online, no animals. Uh, I mean, what else? Like, That's the, the exclusive stuff, how they kind of made it seem like this, like all this exclusive stuff is going to be amazing, but it's only in single player. Not many people are going to play single player. You know, that many people play online with friends. So it's kind of like uh, they were mis uh, misleading people. And I mean, there, there's a, there's obviously more than that stuff. That's just the big things. But um, you know, in due time, hopefully, everything works out. They, they were asking people for, I guess, opinions on what they can do to make the game better. And over the past couple of months, Rockstar has been listening with recent patches and and doing things to the game mechanics and and stuff like that. So I can, I mean, we can only hope that it gets better. And like. I, I guess we can say that pretty much out of every game this year, maybe there's been like one or two. I can only think even though it's a re-release. That's the only one I can it's, think. It's it's one of the best. Compare. So like, Rockstar definitely is still the king, <laughs> or on top I, the uh, top of the hill. I guess you yeah, could say. Yeah, like the game has so many problems, like heist, just all these things, disappointment, online, all that, whatever. But if you like. And it's hard to look at it this way, but all with even all those compared to any other game, I would way rather play GTA. Like I can't think of another game that came out this year that I would ever play over GTA. They yeah, don't have so... the replay value, they don't have the online, like play with friends, all that. Like I can't and except for like a Call of Duty, but I mean I've played too much of that that Yeah, so worn so down. definitely Rockstar has they have you know, the game right where they want it. And if they were smart and, you know, they obviously want to make money, then, you know, they're going to do what it takes to get that. So it's definitely going to be a fun couple of months and years. And then, you know, once PC comes out, geez, I'm, you know, oh, who yeah. knows what's <laughs> going to happen when that comes out. Is that January or February? January 27th. Yep. All right. So almost February. It's going to be a very, very great start of the year, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I think everyone looks forward to PC. Even if you don't have a PC, people are still looking forward to it. Just because the possibilities are so endless with PC. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully Rockstar doesn't restrict us too much because everyone knows that Rockstar despises modding. I mean, they just do not like people messing with their Although, hold on, property. but see, you say that, but then, like, uh, I think we mentioned it a little bit earlier with the peyote plants... They literally took what modders did last gen and put it as a feature in the game. Yeah. Like they took people transforming into like all these crazy animals and characters and they put it into the game as an Easter egg. So no. like, I mean, maybe they're turning over the leaf no. and they're going to allow modding. Last time piece. I was in New York, I was told, I asked, how do you guys feel about modding? And it was just like the Crickets. blanket. Yeah. It was just like, <laughs> Really? Are you are you asking us that? Like it was like, all right, hey, there's beer. <laughs> that's pretty how much how it went. So down. it's a sensitive topic with them. It's a very basically. because the thing is, is like, I know how Rockstar sees it. It's like someone grabbing a video off your channel and editing it to how they want it, you know, or like taking your work and trying to make it better when you really think it's it's already the best it can be. And I think. Rock, like I've always said, Rockstar is a very old-fashioned company when it comes to a lot of things. 
but that's why they're so successful. I mean, they do things very well. They do it in their own way. They're very mysterious, but it works. I mean, it works very well for them. And, you know, you know, an example like Minecraft modding is huge where, you know, the mod community for Minecraft has kept that game alive. Where yeah, I think, same with Skyrim. Sure. I think Rockstar wants to do the same thing but they want to be that light that keeps it alive. They don't want to have to rely on the community to keep it alive. You know, I think they made, they're making progress and steps in the right direction with the content creator and things like that, but we won't get a full grasp of what their plans are until PC drops. We won't have an understanding of where Rockstar stands with modding. Like, I could email Rockstar and call them and be like, hey, how do you guys feel about it? But they're not going to be like, yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want to our game. Like, no game company is going to really ever want to say that i mean they have uh, things in place how they want it at times I and mean, rockstar is one of the few exceptions that actually wouldn't allow it i believe so yeah well I, I don't know it was just it was just funny though how like one of these like new features in the game was something that like the modders were doing you know on the old consoles didn't they say they weren't gonna patch glitches though like or am i wrong didn't they say yeah the point, if it didn't affect like the gameplay they weren't gonna patch it and I, I don't know. They're, they're like, kind of spotty so on that. Like, yeah, some like, glitches they've patched that it's like, really? Like, they still like the don't have modded colors, colors in the game. And, I mean, like, I you know. can have modded colors, but you can't put a crew color on top of a mat mm -hmm. or on top of metallics like you could before. So, Which I don't know how that would affect, like, There's a couple play, of things. But... Yeah, I, I don't know if it was accidental or not, but... Well, even, no. even the fix they made onto Trevor's meth lab for when we did heist prep. I mean, we were oh, yeah, recording... that's right. That's right. That's yeah. why I thought of it. We were recording heist preps the other day, and we went to go use Trevor's meth lab as, like, our little, I guess, set. We went to go get on the AC unit to get inside, and Rockstar removed the AC unit required to jump inside the window. So, I mean, you know, they make changes that they think are fit for the game. I'm not sure yeah. if it's always on purpose. An example, like, once they fix gliding, in, like, it really, and the stunting community was like, what the hell? They noticed, oh, wait, we made a tweak that adjusted gliding and stunting, so let's go ahead and re redo that, re put it back. So, I think just... that was the same for GTA 4. If, I don't know if you remember the swing set glitch. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, they took that out, did, and then but... they put it back yeah, in. Yeah, they instantly put that back in because everyone was so upset that they removed it. But That was one of the best glitches ever, man. I think it's a good thing that Rockstar is being proactive. I mean, you mm -hmm. obviously want that from a – because – with GTA 4, it obviously didn't have Grand Theft Auto Online, but it, it was two DLCs and done. Rockstar went quiet for like four years in terms of GTA 4 content. Yeah. And now you can't go a month without getting a Grand Theft Auto Online update. So Although it's, recently, but I guess that's well, yeah. because they're preparing well, for Well, I mean, gen. at the same rate, Rockstar is one of the most engaging companies when it comes to their community. I feel as if they are Do one you? of... Do you think that? Oh, yeah, man. I, mean, I well this problem that a lot of people they a lot of people in the community they don't like secrets that that's the one thing like I understand secrets for maybe single player you're trying to keep stuff hidden for people to find or whatever but like when you're not telling the community about DLCs or updates I mean at least like once a month just give us something like just let us know that like you're doing snippet. something yeah just like don't just, I just that's or the say, problem like, here's that what's on the horizon here's things yeah, you, just be, you should like, look out for in the next well the reason why they don't do that is because they don't want to screw themselves and that's much. what they did with heist I mean they they really screw yeah, themselves I feel by, like that's why no, no, no. aren't announced anymore. no no no, no. I, don't, I don't mean like announce stuff in the future but just like it would have been cool or it would have been nice for them if while uh starting going all the way back to online last year whenever they originally planned on releasing heist once they had made that decision to delay them like, give us updates, like, once a month. Like, all right, look, so we're delaying heist for this reason. You know, we're not going to give you guys a date on when. Just know we're working on it. Or just give us something. That That's what I think why a lot of the community does not like Rockstar. And that's why a lot of people are very vocal, cool. especially on, so, on the news wires and when Rockstar tweets about stuff. Just because they don't – we're in the dark, and nobody likes to be in the dark. That's they, the they only thing before, that Rockstar could do better. Though, didn't they say that heists were coming with online? And then it came out and they're like, oh, well, we got to fix them. It's going to be a month. Then a month comes by and, oh, it's going to be in spring. And then spring and then it's fall. And now it's who knows, next update, whatever. Just I would love for them to say we're still working on bugs or just something solid that we can actually know. Yeah. yeah. Like the delaying is and one thing, but down. just – let us know why it's being delayed. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. 
And I think a lot of the community would be happy with that. Like, yeah, it sucks, it's delayed, but at least we know in Rockstar's like, all right, look, guys, we're still working, there's some bugs, you know, frame rate, we're now we're coding for first person, so we're trying to make this perfect, so, you know, it's going to be... Do you think that's why there was the original delay, first person? Mode? Oh, for sure, for sure, man. They probably... Then that I mean, would that's... probably be a reason why they couldn't maybe tell us something, because they didn't give away the first person information okay. until... You, okay, you got me there, but just for... I don't know, any updates or just in the future. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Not be that secretive. Yeah, a little transparency would be ultra nice. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, uh, I guess one thing I was thinking of, um, and actually it might be, it might tie into one of our, our uh, speak pipe questions, but if we could like, if our, I'll just ask you guys, if you could add one feature to either, I guess we'll just say online. Oh. Either from single player or you know something that would be logical, just to make the game better. So two online from single player. Yeah. Ooh, and I mean, um, you can say animals, but that's I think that's like a given. Like, that's the common one that a lot yeah. of people are gonna say yeah. now. Uh, honestly, it would be random events. Like you know, if you're driving on the highway in GTA Five. There could be like a guy's car is getting stolen or like a girl is getting pulled out of a vehicle or something like that. Just That'd random cool. events. Make it a little bit more yeah, exciting. Make, make the world more alive. Yep. Yes, exactly. All right. What about you, Quantum? Oh, for sure. I would want better car customization. Like they added the, what are they called? The um, liveries or livery, whatever. They yeah. added those. But those and are only in single in, player. Yeah, they're not online, first off. And, and it's only on it's specific pretty, cars. Yeah, it's pretty limited, too. Even on those cars, like, what you can put on. It's, like, three, four things. So I would love, like, a midnight club where you can have shapes and colors and all that and put it all on. And I wonder, maybe graphically they can't do that or something with the engine. Or maybe it's just as simple as they think people are going to put inappropriate things. Which Oh, you know the there'll emblems. be lots of mail. So there will always be emblems, all over that. But, <laughs> yeah. So I would love that though. It would just make, because then like car shows, you can show off. Oh an yeah, actual, they'd like, be a lot better. The same car, like oh here we got another chrome adder again. Cars but, would be more unique. Yeah, exactly. A lot more unique. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and then what about you, Garrett? I think like uh, I don't know. I I'm really really big into the random events that Ross said, but I would like to see some more like type of jobs you can do, like um like a different type just of so, like, different like cops, types. no like the like cops and crooks type of stuff, like. You know, maybe playing as a police officer and having a role or, like, more gang events that, that are, you know, centralized to your crew or stuff like that. Like, stuff – either do more with your crew or do more with a mm -hmm. aspect of working as a police officer and, you know, something like that. Like, cops and crooks would be cool or working yeah, with your Yeah, people love to role play, so, like, yeah. that's – Yeah. All right, well, I actually have two. I, and I, I, I've talked about this in one of my videos recently, but – uh, going back to the whole peyote plants and how you turn into animals, they already have that in the game. So, like, it would be awesome if they could make that into, like, a deathmatch. Like, you can put that as a deathmatch. Like, you can have one team as, like, bobcats, and then one team as, like, people with pistols. And it's, like, the hunters versus the hunters. Or you could have, with the creator mode, people can have some really cool stuff, like, in the ocean with... A bunch of I don't know the uh, objects everywhere, and there's like a shark, and then everybody else is a fish, and it's like hide and seek, but in the ocean, like that'd be I don't know I That'll think that'd be really sure cool. Be NPC, like more but... customization to death matches, I think, it, like that'd be awesome. And then the the next thing, and I actually brought this up to Ross a couple hours ago before we're doing this. How cool would it be in online if they had? Rare cars, like they have customized cars in single player. You see them a lot. They're a little bit more rare in online, but they do still spawn. And you know, examples of that, I've seen people with Sand Kings that are like huge rims, yellow on the beach, and it's like an NPC car. You can get it and you can sell it for like twenty thousand dollars. But how cool to be if they went more in depth with that, and similar to like a Borderlands or Destiny with how they have like the exotic guns and like these guns have their own attributes, they have their own names. How could it be if like a car had its own special name and its own attributes? Like Ross brought up, what if, I don't know if there's a Camaro in the game, but if there was one, 
it would be like yellow and black and it would be called the bumblebee but it would be like super rare to get and i don't know if it would just be like a rare spawn or if it would be you'd have to trigger something but that would just add more to people collecting cars because i think cars are definitely one of the biggest things in online customizing them showing them off and if you had like this really rare car that was like called like the bumblebee That'd be awesome. I, I don't know. At least to me, I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, it's the cars are almost the only thing that can, you can kind of show off and not be the same as someone else. I guess your clothing, but bigger deal than that is the cars because everyone's always that's pretty much all GTA Online is or it was on last gen is just driving around in the cars. So everyone wants to have a cool looking car. So that would be interesting. I mean, it's definitely a huge part of the game. So might as well make if that if anything were to come in like that, it would make the most sense. It would be vehicles. So, yeah, I mean, because I think, I think what we're gonna see over the next couple months is now that Rockstar's kind of like done with single player. Like, obviously, they'll probably do a single player DLC, but like, they're done with all the new stuff to single player. Now it's time to work online and make that you know a lot better. So, uh, it should be cool. But, um, I guess well, let's see. What haven't we really talked about with with the the new? We covered, the new game. We covered first person. We covered, um, you know, the new uh, returning player items. We covered. Heard well, a we lot can of talk things. about. We can talk about uh, your favorite, Garrett, the uh, the whales the and the aquatic <laughs> dolphins. The aquatic I mean, the aquatic animals. animals. Yeah. I think that the, we already covered the purity of plants. I think that's a great addition to GTA Five, that, like you guys mentioned before, in terms of the mods. Like modders used to do it before, and now we actually have it in the game. I think it's cool to have it in single player. I sort of wish it was online as well, though. I think there's yeah, a that lot would of be stuff, cool to do. Though, that I just wish was on, in online. I, don't, I really don't know why it isn't. Maybe it is just the... They can't handle it, the animals in online. That, there's, why, I don't know, man. That, that almost... One thing I do want to bring like, up... There's no way that can. One thing I want to bring up is the fact that loading times are a bit faster, but not, like, increasingly not, fast. It's not light speed. Yeah, it's not like, you know, loading into anything else. It's just... It still takes a while, man. Well, Not I'm cool. sure if like that's because I'm it's sure the, the server. It's the cloud in servers. Respect to the, all the new stuff they added, like I'm sure the loading time is like True. a huge upgrade. But because they also upgraded the world and added all these new things, that takes away from it as well. Well, no, I, well, no. The loading times in single player are really fast, but online it's 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 faster, but it's still kind of a little bit slow just because their servers, like the cloud servers. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't really have any upgraded. issues. Like, if you're going in and do an invite only, it's almost instant. Like, so do you guys, like you guys think that with switching the, characters within single player. more time, like, you know, GTA 5 Online's release or PS4 and Xbox One, things would be much smoother? Oh, for sure. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it took, what, it took them a month last year to, to smooth out online? I hope it. It's, so, I, I think they've definitely. learned their lesson, and we'll be good. And, then, and, you know, if not today, when this when the patch that they're releasing goes live... You know, within a couple of days. Hopefully that's the case. I hope so as well. But let's go and take this opportunity to check out some speak pipes or squeak pipes as we call them here. Um, you guys, <laughs> basically if you have no idea what that is, every time we do a squad cast, right before the squad cast on Saturday or Friday, I guess, we, we tweet out a link so you guys can submit your questions via voice and we answer them live here on the squad cast. So, Austin, take it away. All right, well, um, one of these questions... Uh, I'm just going to play it from Lewis, but it was basically if we could add one thing from single player, uh, what would it be online? So just to give Squad, Lewis. Love your vids. What feature from single player do you think should have been added to online? Just wondering. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. We already answered that. So thank you, Lewis, for the awesome question. Um, but then the next question we have is from Luca. I think he actually was on the last podcast. Hello, oh, Ross Garrett and Austin. Me again, Luca. Um, my question is, with the whole replaying of this, having to replay the story on next gen, and Rockstar make it very clear that they do want players to play the main story. Um, but I know a lot of people who only buy the game for online. So my question is, do you think in the next GTA game, we Rockstar would implement that you can only go on to online? when you finish the final mission um i know that like this is this is taking it way back like 2009 so world at war a little 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 call of duty game 
they introduced a game mode called Nazi Zombies, and it was only available once you beat the campaign. And now you guys know that all the Treyarch Call of Duties have zombies, and it's a huge thing. Um, so the question, his question was, like, you unlock online after you complete the single player? Yeah, that's the only way you unlock online. I mean, it would certainly force people to beat the single player. That's, yep. There's no doubt about that. That put a lot of pressure on. But I also feel like that would have a, a negative because you would get people who'd say, like, oh, I'm just going to rush through the campaign, don't care, let me get this over with, instead of actually enjoying it. Yeah, well, I see. I think that's why um, there was a, a numerous amount of people that were kind of mad that the exclusive items from, uh, when like, when you got from last gen to this gen, like the, the seaplane, and, or not the seaplane, but the um, the library cars and, and, all, and the Dukes of Death, like, they were kind of mad that that wasn't online because in the trailer, you know, Rockstar, they already promoted it with all these pictures, but then it was only in single player. So I think there's a ton of people who, like, really don't care about online. As sad as that is, because the, obviously the story and the, the single player, everything is amazing, but they just want to play, get in the game, play with friends. And I don't, I, I mean, World at War was kind of an exception with the zombie thing, but I don't think, because the think way it, was, it seems... it was another generation. I don't think it was so long ago that they couldn't do it Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. Nowadays, every game is all about like multiplayer and, and playing with friends, so... I don't. I, I don't think I they'll ever do it, that. Though. I liked how they released this GTA. I mean, it did not need to be a month. I, d I don't think they'd release it a month later so that you could finish the campaign. But I think that they should be maybe a week, because then I don't feel pressured just to jump into online. Because otherwise, everyone's going to get an advantage over me. And then I was able to just play it in the two days that I finished it in. Then I was fine to go and ready to go for uh, online. But I don't. They would never require it because it's just. They would lose too much money. Like, who would want to play through? How long is the campaign? Twenty hours. If it, yeah, it's a, it that's if you're rushing. Online. That's yeah. if you're rushing and just jumping from straight to main objective to main objective. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. It's not even fun at that point. Like, enjoy it. Yeah, but so. you know, obviously, we'll we'll have to wait and see until uh, GTA Six, whenever that is. Oh, God. they said yeah. that was coming out sooner, right? They said like. Three years instead know. of six or whatever it was. I, Who knows? Know. Who knows? All right. Well, uh, moving on. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's. That. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, next question we have is from anonymous. I like anonymous. Gary Barry. I think he's oh really cute. <laughs> uh, uh, Gg out. <laughs> oh, well, that was typical gamer. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on that, Gary Barry? Oh God! Shout out to typical gamer, good friend of all of ours, friend of the squad cast, friend of the squad, friend of the squad. Friend. Oh God! All right, and then finally the last this question guy, here. Man. Last question from John. King Squad, how's it going? Um, just wanted to get this started by saying, love your guys' content. Really, um, I really enjoy watching you guys every day, but Good let's quantity. get that out of the way, yeah. because what I wanted to ask was, what was your favorite moment of last gen? Next gen just came out, I'm enjoying a lot, but really, I had a lot of great moments in last gen. I'm really wondering what your favorite ones were. Yeah. Also, uh, happy birthday, Garrett. What the hell? All right, well, uh, thank oh, you for Garrett. the question, John. Um, so what was your favorite thing about Next Gen? And happy birthday, Garrett. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused, too. So someone else take this. Okay, well, um, let's see. Favorite thing about Last Gen. That's tough. I mean, the, I mean, the entire game, what it did on Last Gen was incredible. Like, it pushed the limits. You can just say, like, what Rockstar accomplished. Uh, any in particular thing? Not sure oh, if he man. means. I'm not sure if he means like online or single player. There are some but, moments online and stream, but yeah, but I mean, last gen specific. I don't know. That's a tough question. Let us know your thoughts. Your your favorite thing in the comment section. I don't know. Do you guys have anything? Not really. I don't I have mean, anything. It, in particular. I, I think just the memories, because it's like that's that's where we all grew. That's where we we met and became friends and. You know all the old heist preps that we did, like eight episodes. Yeah. Um, 
So I, I'd say the memory is just the nostalgia factor. And by the way, a uh, little plug here. Season 2 of Heist Prop is coming out Sunday. You guys if you've definitely... made it this far, you deserve a uh You a know tease. what? The word in the comments that we heist got. Prep. Uh, the, heist Prop. Just put Heist Prop any way you spam want it. it. Just spam it. And it's going to be good. I think it was really it's good. Gonna I think it's the best one we've done. So oh, yeah. for sure. So you guys are going to be in for a treat on Sunday. If you've watched this far in the podcast, you deserve to know what our Sunday video is going to be. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. I think that's, I mean, any, any last thoughts on last gen? I think what Ross said pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I think that's, that's everything. If you guys enjoy the Squadcast, make sure you guys do drop a like if you watched it this far. Check out Cloudwell.com as our sponsor for this day's Squadcast. Anything else you want to say to wrap this up, Austin, Quantum? Well, it's only been a couple days, but, you know, so far, without, you know, with the minor servers going down, Online's going great. We're having a blast. And, you know, I can't wait to see what happens over the next couple weeks with all the content we create, create and what Rockstar does. So it's it's going to be really fun. It'll be really good. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next Squadcast, which is next Saturday. Later, guys. See ya. Peace. Bye.